a helicopter. I'm at a free campsite. And as you can hear, it's a little bit of a compromise because it's near an Air Force base, so every once in a while a helicopter goes by. Gotta live with that. That's what you get when... You know, there's always some kind of a compromise when you get something for free, and in this particular case, that's what it is. But this video isn't about campsites, and it's not a nature video. I wanted to do a product update, or at least a product review. Uh, something that I've used in the past, and I needed a new version of it and it all evolves around this thing my cell phone uh, everybody has one and with me it's kind of a love-hate relationship with it um, I need it you know although I want to be away from big cities and technology uh, there's still times where I have to use it let's face it it's my method of communication with the outside world it's uh, how I get weather reports and weather alerts, uh, how I do research, and because I'm a vlogger, it's the way I upload videos. Now, since I do not use, um, I don't use things like a satellite, and I don't use Wi-Fi, I use a cell phone provider, and I use a cell phone, and that's it. And what that means is I rely on cell towers for communication. Now, in the city, that's not an issue. But when you're out in the remote wilderness or even in a rural area, a lot of the time that's an issue. And there's many places where I have either no signal at all or next to no signal. And uh, that's why I started using cell phone boosters. I've been using the Wii Boost, And uh, that's the booster. And this is the cradle. It's a cradle type, and uh, it's called the Drive Sleek. And if you look, I've done at least two videos on it. One when I first unboxed it, and one uh, a, a video about improving it. But the cell phone goes on the cradle. That's how it works, and it boosts the signal. It's worked quite well for me over the last couple of years. But unfortunately, after time, this cord sort of wiggled a little bit too much. The wires frayed and they broke uh, and I tried fixing this I just can't fix it it's not even copper that they use on this it was time for a new booster and uh, there's a lot better ones apparently uh, the market has changed the technology has changed so the first one I looked for was of course a Wii boost why not it was pretty good for me for two years at least and uh, I wanted something specifically for an RV or a camper. And uh, WeBoost has one, but it was very, very pricey. And I thought, well, is there something else? Like, I, I wanted something that was from North America because, you know, I'm Canadian. I like US products, Canadian products, and Mexico products. And WeBoost was from US. Is there another comp company from the U.S. or Canada that uh, would do the same thing? And I think I found one. At least I hope I did. It's this one here. It's a high boost, the High Boost Travel RV Cell Phone Booster, and uh, it's I saved $150 over what I would have had to pay for with uh, with the other company. Well, let's just see if I got a good deal. Open her up. A lot of cardboard, of course. And it's got the user manual. Very important. And this is the booster. It's a lot bigger, and it's got a very large heat sink on the back. It does get warm, and so you really need that. Um, good size hopefully that means better signal it has one small antenna which looks very similar to the the Wii boost one you use on the top of your car and uh, it has a 12 volt adapter but along with this antenna there is somewhere underneath here another one this system uses two antennas. It uses an indoor antenna and it uses an outdoor antenna. And this outdoor antenna is omnidirectional. So as long as you can fasten it to your camper somehow, 
you don't really have to adjust it it's good for all directions now there's other things in here there's a uh, 120 or 110 adapter if you want to use it in a house and uh, various brackets I'm not going to go cables and all that. I'm not going to go into everything but let me set it up we'll see how well it works and uh, I'll give you my review now before I get too far into the setup I should at least go over what HiBoost claims its booster does. The HiBoost Travel 4G 2.0 RV cell phone boosters features include it amplifies 2G, 3G, 4G light and 5G signals. It works on all major networks in US and Canada. The coverage is for the entire vehicle and multiple users. It supports cell phones, iPads, tablets and hotspots. There's a three year warranty on the booster and the maximum signal gain is 50 decibels. Sounds pretty impressive. The first part of this installation is going to be the antenna because this is the one that may require the most work. Now, one frustrating part I find about whenever I upgrade something on electronics usually means I've got to modify what I had before and I don't like to do that. And that's especially true with an antenna and a cable because the cable has to go from the outside to the inside somehow and the antenna has to be fastened to something. I do not want anything permanent when I am just testing something out because what if I don't like it? It's going back and then I've got holes in my trailer. So I'm going to use what I had in the past. Now this is an omnidirectional antenna that came with it, which means as long as it points up, you should be fine. You don't have to adjust it later on. But getting the cable into the camper, um, I'm going to do a little tweaking because I think I'm going to try something different than the way I did it before. But as far as the antenna, the way I used to do it is in the bumper, I keep two metal poles. One goes in the other and it goes on a little fixture I have on the bumper and up it goes. So all I have to do is attach this to the pole, attach the cable, and I should be okay for a test. When I first got this camper, I made a lot of changes right off the bat. And one of the things I did was remove all the stuff that I was never going to use in the first place. And one of those things was the auxiliary shower. There used to be a hose, a faucet, and a shower head in here so you can give yourself a shower outside the trailer. Now, being that I camp in the winter time, what on earth was I going to do with that? <laughs> Who wants to have a shower outside when it's 20 below? Of course, I modified the camper to have a shower inside like most people would do. But now that I have this cord, people will understand the advantage because this area here can now be a storage area. I can keep the cable in there, but it gets better because if I just undo this, I can take one end, insert it into the trailer. See, I did put a hole in there so I could actually put cables in there and then get enough cable that I need for the antenna, which is probably about that. And then just put the rest in there and close it up. No bugs can get in here. It's protected. If the water, if, uh, if it rains, it's not going to go in. And all I have to do is connect this to the antenna. So the last part is the installation inside the camper. 
Now, I did read the instructions, and they're pretty basic. They're written in perfect English, which is a great idea, and there's lots of pretty pictures, so uh, you shouldn't have any problems with it. They do encourage you to use an installation app. Now, I did try the app. I didn't like it. I didn't think it worked very good. And it was one of these things where you have to give your email address and a password. Well, I know where that's going. So you don't have to use the app. There's a way of, of installing this manually, and I'm going to show you how to do it. And it was all in the instructions. So here's the booster. It has four mounting holes. And where do you mount it in a camper? Well, that's a personal thing. And you know what? I, you know, if I was to do it, I may put it maybe up like that or there, but for now I'm not even going to mount it. And, and there's other things you can do with this outside the camper, wink, wink, that uh, you're probably not going to want to mount it permanently anyway. But let's set it up. First thing you got to do is put the cables in. Now, the outdoor antenna, here is the white cable. I ran it through my galley comes up here then I can just store it under a seat when not in use but uh, this looks like a really good location because where I want to use it is on this table this is at the front of my trailer this is where I set up my laptop and where I have my meals and answer my emails and uh, my comments and all that so good location so I'm gonna plug this in and it goes only in one end they look the same so you gotta Make sure you put the right one on the right connection. Now the indoor ante antenna comes with this monstrous cord, which I know is going to get tangled all over the place, so I've just put it under here for now. The location of the indoor antenna, it does say somewhere, I can't remember if it was in the instructions or online, do not have this near the outdoor antenna. Now the outdoor antenna is in the back, it's 10 feet in the air, so the indoor antenna I'm just going to put on this table right here and get the end and plug that in. And I'm sure there's a special, you know, like wrench or something, but thumb tight is fine. Only other thing I've got to do is give it power. Now this is the 12 volt adapter and I've got a 12 volt outlet right here. So I'll plug that in. The outlet is not on right now. It's not active. I gotta press a button. But I don't want to activate everything right now anyway because I need to show you the difference. So plug that in there. Got my phone. All I have to do is show you what the signal is before I activate it and what it is after. As the HiBoost Signal Supervisor app did not work properly, I switched to the Network Cell Info Lite app to get a signal strength. Without the booster, I had a signal of minus 104 decibels or 4 bars. After energizing the booster, the signal slowly improved. After a few seconds, I was able to achieve minus 91 decibels or five bars. Well, that was the result of the first test of the high boost. I was able to get 13 decibels better signal. Am I impressed with that? Not really. Especially because when you go online, they say that you should be able to get up to 50 decibels gain. 13 is nowhere close to 50, and it's not like a cough medication where it says up to 12 hours relief and you don't get anything. Because this is a technical item, it should be a little bit more accurate. So rather than just say it's not working properly, I think I need to look into what the variants are. Now I did check all the cables, just make sure they're tight. I adjusted the outdoor antenna and uh, rebooted, did a lot of things just to see, and I could not get better than 13 decibels. Now, if I, was only, if I only had a day to review this, I'd probably be very unimpressed, but it wouldn't be an accurate review. So I had to look, is, is there anything else that might be a factor that's not giving me a good gain? And maybe it's location. 
Um, maybe it's the trees, maybe it's atmospheric, maybe it's the cell tower and how many people are using it. I don't know. The only way to give a honest, uh, accurate review of this is to try it again somewhere else. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think it's time for another test. I'm in a totally different location, different day, but the exact same setup. I haven't changed anything. Now, before I plug in the booster, I want to show you what the signal is. And hopefully you can see that. Minus 123, I think it is. Uh, minus 122. It did get down to minus 125. And if you look over in the corner here, you see that's in the red zone. So that's a really bad signal. And up on top, it's only like one bar it's just that little dot up there that's a pretty bad signal minus 125 uh, is the lowest there so let's plug it in see what happens okay boosters on you can see the lights flashing and the signal is starting to change however it's not changing very much you know you can see 121, it's almost like it hasn't changed at all. However, I discovered something here, and it isn't in the instruction manual. And that is, there is a big difference in the power of the booster, depending on how far away the cell phone is from the antenna. Because if I put the cell phone right on the antenna, not just in the room, you will see a huge difference. Look at that minus 96 minus 98 um i think it was minus 95 there a second ago let me just move it up there now, what have we got there there we go minus 95 that is a difference of about 30 that's a gain of about 30 decibels which is pretty good i was getting 13 before and now i've got 30 that's phenomenal but there's a catch. You have to have the cell phone right by the antenna. And it's basically the same thing as I had before, the cradle. However, I just have a little bit more freedom. I mean, I can still talk and move it and turn my phone on and all that. But um, it's a little deceptive to me, at least from what I see right now. And there may be other things I don't know. But when you buy a system for a cabin in an RV, you expect you set the antenna up once and you can walk around the room with a cell phone and get the same signal. Well, with my cell phone at least, this is not the case with this setup. To summarize, let me share what I've discovered so far versus what the manufacturer's claims are for this product. Although it should amplify several types of signals, I can only confirm that it does work on 4G light signals, which is good for me. As for networks, I only use Rogers and AT&T, so no issues there. It certainly supports my cell phone in its hotspot, which for me is the Samsung Galaxy A21. The three-year warranty is definitely better than the two-year warranty of its competitor. As for signal gain, my max was 32 decibels so far. But the biggest sticking point for me was its claim of coverage for the entire vehicle, as so far, that has not happened. Help me out, Highboost. Oh. 
Wow, there's a bird singing. Well, that wasn't meant to be the definitive review of this product. It was only meant to be me sharing my own personal experience because uh, nobody purchased this for me. This was something I bought myself. It wasn't uh, any kind of endorsement for the company. No freebies, no free gifts. And I think that makes it a little less biased. I want to give an unbiased opinion to my viewers. So what do I think about the high boost? Um, I'm not really ready to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down at this point, but I think it does have potential. What did I find out so far? Well, uh, I personally was able to get 32 decibels gain, which is very good. It's not the 50 as advertised, however, is, has anybody got 50? <laughs> Maybe I should throw that out to some of my viewers. Have, has anybody actually got what they claim or any other manufacturer? Because it could be something like solar panels. You know, when they say it's a 100 watt panel, but you never really get 100 watts, you know what I mean? But um, there are other things I want to try. I want to try a different antenna, a unidirectional, maybe put it higher, see if I get uh, a better signal. He, uh, I want to talk to the manufacturer and see, well, do I really have to have the cell phone right on the, uh, the antenna to make it work the best? Um, it does seem a little odd, but, you know, there are other things, and, and there might be other suggestions. I'm going to do some tweaking, and I'll probably, in a later video, I'll do an update. But for now, I think I'm done talking. Uh, I hope you got something out of this, but uh, it's time for me to take a hike. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you'll join, join me in my future travels as I don't talk about boosters. I just go for a walk. See you later.